good day guys uh, you guys are welcome to this next uh, this youtube video of mbbs niger a leading youtube channel supporting and helping educate medical students worldwide okay you could subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed to our channel so that you could further see more videos that we will be dropping on anatomy so in this video i would like to i would like us to just go through possible multi-choice questions and um, possible structural questions you could encounter on the topic of breast as an anatomy student okay so um these questions they actually have answers below and when i go through the question i'll wait for some time so you could think then we'll go down and check the answers we'll check the possible answer okay then we'll go down and see if it is correct okay if you are watching this video anywhere in the world you could actually pause this video and try answering these questions before i go down to where they wrote the answers so you could test your iq on the anatomy of the human breast okay so where is the circular venous plexus found a at the apexes of the nipple b at the base of the nipple c at the base of the breast d at the lateral thoracic lymph node okay i think we'll, we'll get to answer all these questions before we go to uh before we go to what am i saying we'll get to answer all these questions before we go to the answers below so for me number one my answer is at the base of the breast that's c number two Along the lateral thoracic vessel, located the pectoral group of the axillary lymph node, which lies on which of the structure? Pectoral group. Pectoral group. So I, once they are talking about the pectoral group, it's related to the pectoral muscles. So I think, for me, they lie on the pectoralis major. So I will go with D. You could, ch you could choose what you want, though. You know, you know, all of us are students, though. So, most of the carcinoma of the breast, that's the cancers of the breast, occur in which quadrant? That's the upper lateral quadrant. Upper lateral quadrant. Okay. Nope. Oh, I just showed up the answers there. The appearance of the pure, the orange is caused by infiltration of what? Yeah. I didn't though. Didn't read this. Infiltration. Mammary ridge. Retro mammary space. I think it's ligaments of Cooper. Number four, I'll go with D. Let's come to number five. The left subclavian trunk usually opens into left subclavian, left subclavian, left subclavian. Down. Open into thoracic duct internal thoracic vein internal jugular vein i'll go with internal thoracic vein so number five i go with a the latiferous duct gland uh, contain how i'll go with c number six c 15 to 20 two third of the breast lies on which of the following i think is pectoralis major and the other one lie on serratus anterior and external oblique muscle. So I think it's pectoralis major. Number seven, I go with D. Seven, I go out D. Seven, I go with D. Hey. The nipple of the breast lies opposite the fourth intercostal space. That is for women that have not breastfed. Okay. Mm. Number eight, C. So let's go. My number one was C. Here we have B. Let's take corrections. Okay, the circular, the okay, is at the base of the nipple. Okay, see guys, if you are watching this video, make sure you have watched my previous video on breast. That's the video before this one. Okay. 
video on the anatomy of the human breast i've done the video this is just like the mcqs to that video okay okay it's actually at the base of the nipple number two c i almost feel all this shit oh okay the pectoralis group lie on the pectoralis minor damn number three a i got it yay the appearance of number four d ligament of cooper yay i got it number five c i i i i i said subclavian trunk okay they open into the thoracic duct okay number six c okay number six number six should be c o is 15 to 20 to third of the breast lie on the d pectoralis major yay nipple of the breast lies opposite fourth intercostal space c yay got it got it got it hey now you can see these structural questions enumerate the five groups of the axillary lymph uh, lymph nodes you can see the answers there Please develop a memory aid for this. Yes, PSBCA, 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 pectoralis group, subscapular group, brachial group, central group, apical group. A patient has tumor in the upper part of the breast. In which of these nodes with the surgeon find metastasis? That's the apical group because you know why everything drains back to the apical group. Okay, PSBCA, that's the first one. A 44 year old female present with a mass. Investigation showed that it was invasive ductal carcinoma. In which of the quadrant do the major breast cancer occur? This is just like trying to tell you that which of the quadrant has more. Uh, which of the quadrant does breast cancer occur more? Of course, we know that is the upper quadrant, okay? During mastectomy, the incision should be made in which direction? Radially. Okay, guys. With this, we've come through the end of just a little, um, a little revision or going through some questions, possible questions that you might see that are related to the breast. If you are watching this video, you could subscribe to our channel so that you get access to much more of our videos for free. Okay, this is the MBBS Niger, NBBS N E I J A, and we are committed to making you go smoothly through your medical process. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys on the next one.